Hey guys, it's Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop, and today Doug Glico is going to tell us about his 2017 Christmas book. Hi Kimberly. So the book that I have this year is called Winterlude, and it has some piece quilts in there, some table toppers, and some table runners. And the quilt behind us, and that we're going to be talking about today, is Winter Frost. It's a Jelly Roll friendly quilt. Well, we can't wait to see how to make it, and his books are always top sellers at Fat Quarter Shop, so make sure to check that out. So let's get started. Well, Kimberly, the whole quilt behind us, Winter Frost quilt, is made using the one block. Oh, wow. So it, it's really simple with the one block. There's not too many different things that you have to do. And what we're going to start with is we're going to start with our four and a half inch background squares. Okay. And a ruler and just a marking pencil. I like to use the Trio pencil from uh, Sew Line. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our square and a ruler. We're just going to draw a line from corner to corner. And we're just going to mark a line. And then you're going to go a half of an inch over from corner to corner, and you're going to draw another line. So you're going to have your squares that look like this. So you have one line that's corner to corner, and then an offset line by half of an inch. Okay. Then you're going to you're going to put those aside, and we are going to sew some strips together. And when we sew strips together, we're going to have our strips that are cut down, what the pattern tells you to. Okay. And we're starting with jelly rolls. Yep, we're starting with jelly rolls, and we are going to pair two contrasting prints together. So I like to just kind of do like a light and a dark or a medium and dark. Mm -hmm. But we're going to place them right sides together. And you can line them up on all four sides. And we are going to start up at the top right and we are going to sew a quarter of an inch down about half of the way. Okay. And we're going to pivot. We are making a partial seam. Okay. So halfway down and again pivot and 90 degrees you're going to sew off. Okay. And that is going to give us our partial seam. So we're going to kind of have like two legs if you want to say. And that is our partial unit that we're going to our partial seam unit that we're going to work with. Okay. We're then going to place our squares that we drew the lines on. We're going to place it in the upper corner. And you're going to want the smaller triangle that we drew up up on the upper left corner and you're going to sew on those lines. And when I sew on the lines, I'm going to sew on the inside Slightly. Yep, slightly on the inside of the lines, and that will help you with, with um, seam allowances and fold over and fabric. So towards the center? Yep, towards okay. the center. Okay. Then you're going to, here's how it looks after it's sewn. Okay. And we sewed it just in black. You're going to want to use like an ivory or a neutral uh -huh. color, but just black today so you can see it. Okay. Then you're going to cut for, you're going to cut down the middle between those two stitching lines. Okay. And you're going to have your unit. Now this piece is not, gar is not discard but it's extra and you can make a little topper with all of them because you're going to have one from each corner okay. that we add to the block. So you're going to put that aside and we're going to press this to the background triangle. Our unit's going to look like this and then we're going to add another strip to the right side. Okay. And when we add a strip to the right side you're going to be able to sew the full seam. You don't have to do any more partial seams. So we're going to put right sides together. So a quarter of an inch seam and then we're going to press to the strip. And after you press to the strip, you're going to add another square that we drew lines on in the lower right corner this time. And again, you're going to sew on the lines and then just on the inside, in fact. And I can see that with this method, you're getting that perfect point up here, whereas mm -hmm. if you didn't do this partially, you would definitely, you know, this might be off. Yes. Yep. So this that's kinda, a ni nice trick. Yeah, it kind of helps guarantee that quarter of an inch that you need. So next we're going to have it sewn and we're going to cut right down the middle okay. and you're going to press to the triangle. Okay. Now you're ready to complete your partial seam unit and you have a block almost done. Okay. We're going to fold it right sides together and you're going to start at the bottom, not the middle. You're going to start at the bottom and sew to the middle. You're going to pivot about a half of an inch overlap and pivot off and sew. Okay. And then you're going to press. And When you press, you're going to have your completed block. Well, I love this trick because I always struggle with that. Yes. So then you're going to take and you're going to lay out your whole entire quilt and you're okay. going to make sure you put the blocks together and have good contrast between the two. And the, the best part is you get to play and you get to turn around all the fabrics so you have what you like. And then you're going to sew the blocks together to make a square. And okay. then you're going to sew the blocks five across and then you're going to have six rows of five. Well, thanks for sharing this with us today and make sure to pick up your Winterlude book at the Fat Quarter Shop. See you next time.